Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to read and write your flash drive with the NTFS file system on your Mac OS Some of you might wonder what is NTFS. Okay, so let me explain. When we talk about flash drive, there are two types of flash drive system. First of all is the FAT32 and the other one is the NTFS. So allow me to explain the difference between these two. Well, with FAT32, the flash drive is supported by both Mac and Windows. While NTFS, it is supported by the Windows and Mac, but only half, not fully supported. If FAT32 is supported by both Windows and Mac, why do we need the NTFS? Well, with FAT32, the thing is, you cannot copy any files which is over 4 gig onto your flash drive. That is the reason why we need to transform our flash drive from FAT32 to NTFS. Because with NTFS, you can copy any file which has uh, more than 4 gig onto your flash. However, it is not fully supported on the Mac. So now let me show you an example. As you can see, this is my flash drive. It runs with NTFS file system. So when I copy any files from my flash to my Mac, it is okay. But the problem is when I copy it back, I cannot make it because it is not fully supported as I mentioned before. So how to solve this problem? Well, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is to download the application, which is Paragon NTFS. And then you can start installing this application on your Mac. And when you launch this, you can see there are two apps. One of them is the installer and the other one is the uninstaller. So it's up to you if you want to uninstall it later. And then just select the start 10 day trial and choose the second one unless you have the serial number or you have bought it before but if not if not just choose the first one as you can see you need to fill in the information so you just go back Okay, so now let me plug in my flash drive, which is running the FAT32. Okay, so I'm as those FAT32. Okay, so after installing the Paragon NTFS, I can even transform or change my flash drive running on FAT32 to NTFS, which can be done before. Okay, so in order to change it, you have to launch the Paragon from the preferences and click on that application and choose on your flash drive. Be careful because as you can be seen from this video, you can see there are two drives, one of which is my hard disk. So be careful, you might uh, confuse to erase your hard disk okay, or your hard drive. So just select on the flash drive and click on erase. And then you will see right now you are able to select the NTFS to format. Or you can select the FAT32 or NTFS and then click on erase. Guess what? After you installing this application, you can even uh, format your flash drive to NTFS from the disk utility. Click on the race, and right now you can see the NTFS is available. Before installing this application, you cannot find this option in the utility. 
Okay, so now let me try erasing my flash drive with the MTFS file system. Okay, so now we'll click on done. And as you can see, the flash is divided into two because one is the simple one and the other one is the NTFS. Okay, so let me quit the program and let's see if I now can copy any files from my computer to my flash. Okay, as you can see, now I can drag and drop any file from my Mac onto my flash. And the good news is you can even disable that application although you have already installed on your Mac. Okay, so in order to disable, you have to go to the app and go to the preferences and click on disable. And let's see if my flash drive is still supported with the right function. Okay, so this is the file. And let's see if I still can drag and drop on my flash. Okay, so no. All the files, I cannot do it. I cannot drag and drop onto my flash. But still, I can drag the files from my flash onto my Mac. Okay, so now let me enable this function. And let's see if it works. Okay, so go back to the application and click on the application's name and preferences. And click on enable. So remember that Whatever you are doing, you have to inject your flash first in order to take the effect. So without injecting your flash drive, it won't work. Okay, so you need to inject. As you can see, although I uh, have already enabled the application, but still. But after I inject it and plug it in, as you can see, it changed the form. And then I can drag and drop. From my Mac to the flash drive. Okay, so that's it everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. And please do not forget to subscribe for more useful videos. Thanks.